it's Sunday morning. I'm just starting to get coffee and tea together because it's also Father's Day. So we're celebrating Andrew. Say hi, babe. Yeah. I got him this kind of fancy looking tea tin for Father's Day. But someone doesn't want to drink their Father's Day tea. So they want to drink their off-brand tea. So whatever. I also got him these. It says they're wine stoppers and tea tag holders. I hope they work. In the photo, it looked like they would work, but then seeing the product in person, they look ridiculously small. I mean, they're kind of cute. They just look really tiny. Guess that's it? I don't know. I feel sad about this gift. Hold on. Well, the tea tag did not work. <laughs> Whatever. So I've decided that I'm gonna go back to freelancing. I really, really liked freelancing and it kind of got put on hold. So I've been working at it. I found this thing called UGC, which is user generated content. And it was like a because it took me down this like rabbit hole on the way that marketing has shifted. Um, it sounds a lot like what I originally used to try to freelance of doing product photography and product <laughs> videos for social media. So I'm excited. I'm looking at doing that. I'm not like I'm going to go full time doing this and quit my nine to five job, but that would be cool. But I just, you know, I'm always looking for ways to bring in a little bit of side cash and establish some alternative streams of income. That way it's not all just relying on one thing. And I think it's been two weeks I've started to go at it because I was doing a lot of research. <laughs> I was then like looking at, they were talking about it's easy to break in through these like apps that companies use to find people to do this work. They're low paying, but it's like a good way to say, get established like, hey, I worked with the, a brand and get stuff for a portfolio. And I got my first client. <laughs> so that's exciting. Did not expect that. Cause I'm still going through, um, the app is called Join Brands. And you have like these certificates that you like submit something and then it gets reviewed. And then once you're certified, you can start pitching for those kind of jobs. So I got certified <laughs> to do a selfie with a product, you know? Selfie with a product. And that's what the job is. Uh, I, it's a selfie with a product. <laughs> and it's like realistic. The product showed up, looked over the brief. I have the brief, I looked it over. I, in the app, it's like, you applied, you're accepted, whole thing. I'm very excited that it is moving forward. I don't know, like when I look at the selfies though, I, like products, not just like the one that like I, I am doing the job for, but like all these products, like um, beauty products. All these women are like trying to be sexy and it's like, do I go, Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel. But no, it should be fun. And it's also cool to like get a free product. I think that's always cool. I think people like that stuff. Um, I know I like that stuff. That's what it was like really exciting about my job. Like when they get rid of stuff, I could just take it. And it was like, I can just have this. <laughs> and then you, you gotta be kind of careful with that because then you get a lot of free stuff of stuff you don't need. So I'm gonna make coffee and it's Father's Day. So we have Father's Day breakfast coming. And then I think the plan is to just relax, right? Yep. Plan is just to relax. So probably gonna take advantage and draw on my tablet and read this book. But yeah, steps forward. The me that is editing this footage is now a week 
past where I recorded this and getting to look back at this is really warming. Um, me and my fiance are both getting older and we are both very busy people. So holidays like Father's Day and Mother's Day, when we talk about what we want to do, it's usually just spending time together and relaxing. And I think that's really special. I'm so jealous of this sticker. This came in uh, Lord of the Rings inspired soap that I got Andrew. Look at it. I love whales. <laughs> and I love like whimsical fantasy stuff. And I always check to make sure that like the shipping thing isn't in the box with like the payment and all that and take those out of gifts. But like I saw this and like all these free stickers, I was like, I mean, he, want, he was like, you can have it. I was like, I'm not taking your father's gift, but I may order some soap for myself so I can get my own stickers. I don't think I'm gonna do the selfie today or I'm like, or whatever. I'm trying to figure out what Andrew wants to do. It seems like he might want to just relax, which is fine. But I was looking over what they want and I don't think I need to do as much as I am thinking I need to do, which is cool. But when I do it, I'm gonna wanna put on my green makeup. And I might wanna do it outside. So my current thought, which is gonna suck, is waking up really early tomorrow and doing it. I just <laughs> I feel weird doing it in the backyard, but I wanna do some photos in the backyard. My neighbors, they actually wanted to put up a fence. So we have a white fence between our property. So that actually works out because the pitch said on like a plain white wall or a plain like neutral color wall or outside. And I was like, well, I can do it against that fence. <laughs> it's a big old white wall. And then like I have a ridiculous amount of plantage happening in the backyard so I can do some shots like that and I'm hoping if I do it early that no one will see me. The first one's always exciting. The first one makes it possible and I'm having a lot of fun and that's what's important. Fun and creativity and it is actually super nice out today so I might take Rowan in the yard. Andrew doesn't seem to want to go in the yard but he might change his mind. He might want to come outside with a cider and his guitar. I asked my fiance over and over what did he want to do and he just wanted to have food together with me and our son and he wanted to go to the mall and go to this tiny little like pop culture novelty store that's in the mall and you know that's cool like we no longer need to do big exciting things we don't need to go to bars we don't need to go to shows we don't need to like find excitement because there is excitement in slowing down. Pushy mat for ever. I saw it online and it like sold out. So I was real sad. I couldn't get it. And then I just saw it in a foyer. So now it's like official. I moved into my house. Like what, four years later? I like I want to watch Into the Spider-Verse a little bit, but I gotta water all my plants. So I'm gonna do that because we're in like mid. New Jersey heat, so I need to do that. And I'm pretty sure all of the neighbors are out. So I'm trying to be discreet. I don't like people seeing or hearing me doing this, but I'm gonna work on watering the garden.
I am also super excited at how far I have come since I started therapy last year. I was diagnosed with anxiety disorder, which is not something I ever thought that I would be suffering from, but apparently I was. And now that I've been working with a therapist over a year, I'm seeing all the ways that anxiety has been affecting my life in negative ways and all of the things that it has kept me from trying to pursue. Good morning and all. Uh, I have a tripod <laughs> and this is before I had a child find me attractive robe. <laughs> it's definitely before work because I'm not gonna have time to do this during the work day just at night and just early in the morning and obviously light at night is gone <laughs> and you need sunlight. So I'm doing this early in the morning, but I feel absolutely ridiculous, but whatever. I'm doing this for my art. The product, I have a hairbrush to brush my hair if my hair is a little out. I didn't even have coffee yet. I want to get this done before coffee. I'm hoping this won't take too long. Um, a little nervous that when I go around the corner, the neighbors are gonna be there and be like, what are you doing? And I'll be like, hurt. Yeah, and I'm a little nervous these ones are coming out and going to work. But I'm gonna get this done. I don't feel this will go good. The sun's behind a tree right now. So the brief is a selfie with the product, so. And it says on a white wall, or a neutral wall or outside. And luckily, my neighbors put that white wall up and it's also outside, so I'm combining two. <laughs> I have a white wall in the attic for doing photos on, just covered in shit, <laughs> stuff in the basement. But, all right, I'm gonna stage this and get this done. I figure some against that wall, like maybe, over by that lilac because it's got plants and then some in like um towards the side of the house over there but they can see me so i hope they're not out there i had always admired the freelance life the self-employed life the content creator the person who doesn't answer to a corporate job and makes their own way in life and sustains themselves and is a brand in themselves. And I had wanted to do that and I was too scared because of anxiety. And I thought I needed security. I thought I needed the corporate job to get health insurance. And now that I've had the corporate job, that gives me health insurance. I'm seeing it is not the life that I wanted, but I was too anxious to go for the life that I wanted. In recent sessions, I had been talking to my therapist how I want a new job, but I don't feel like I want to work at a new company. And I'm not really sure what I want to do. I keep bouncing around with different ideas of what I want to do. And she opened my eyes that maybe what I want to do is work for myself. Whatever that's going to look like, I'm not sure. So I decided to start this UGC journey and I am having so much fun. I, I am only two weeks into this journey at this point where I'm recording this voiceover and I am already on my third client and that's insane. And granted, it's not that I've found these high paying thousands and thousands of dollar gigs that I'm getting, but like it, it is brands that I am working with and I had the courage to interact with them and I had the courage to go outside in my backyard and although I heard my neighbor outside and I heard the people behind the house outside, I did this. I posed with product and probably looked silly as hell, but I did it. And Facing that, I feel like has opened a door and I am just gonna continue to make something of this. I don't know what it is. 
I don't know if I will fully embrace the freelance life and be at a point next year that maybe I can quit my corporate job and just self-sustain or not. And that's okay because right now I'm just having fun. If you're like me and you have anxiety and there is something that you want to do, whether it's talk to that person, go to that store alone, see a movie by yourself, go on a trip alone, or try freelancing, you just got to do it. You just got to suck it up and take a leap of faith because that's what life is. Life is a series of leaps of faith and seeing what is going to be at the other end of the drop. I did it. I did it. I finished it. I finished this freelance gig. I think I got the shot after you view all the photos in my phone. But that was really, really, really fun. And even though I woke up and I didn't have coffee, that was really exciting. But I got to get in. I have a 9.15 meeting and it's like past nine o'clock now. So I have to get in and get ready for that. But this was a lot of fun and I'm glad I'm doing this. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. The engagement really helps me. And say hi in the comments too, I love that. And if you're interested in me on this UGC journey or what UGC is, subscribe, because I'm definitely gonna make some videos about it since it's something I'm starting to do now. And I hope that you have a great day and that you're happy today. And I love you, thank you.